In Brisbane, Sally from Happy Tails Animal Rescue is bringing eight-year-old River in for a health check with Alison. Hello, this is River. <laughs> if the stunning Husky Cross gets a clean bill of health, she'll be ready to be adopted by a loving family. Good girl. River came to Happy Tales recently. She was surrendered by an owner who unfortunately was facing homelessness. Good girl. Before any animal goes up for adoption, we get a full health check and we make sure that any underlying issues that we know about, we can get them fixed before they go to their forever home. Hi Sally, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? This must be the gorgeous River. This is River. Hi hey, River, nice to meet you. Would you like to come on into the console? Come on. She is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> come on, River. Come on. Oh, well, a bit unsure. River, she's absolutely beautiful. Her temperament is amazing. She's really calm. So I'm really keen to see what's up with her today. So how's she been at home? Doing all the normal things? Yep, eating and drinking well. She's um, such a happy dog. She has such a gentle, sweet nature. We have noticed some limping. I'm not sure if it's one of her back legs, okay. particularly when she gets tired. Could even be arthritis at this age. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll definitely give that a check up. But what I might do is give her a full physical exam, see how she's going, and then I'll, I'll get down to that sore leg. Okay, let's listen to that heart. Perfect. Okay, so have you got anyone in mind for this lovely girl? We do, we've got a um, couple in mind to foster her. She's a lovely <laughs> dog um, and I think she'll make a lovely forever dog for somebody. Oh, I mean her temperament's amazing. She's yeah. going to find a great home with <laughs> great owners. So shall we have a feel of that back left leg? Good girl. Oh, there we go, yeah. So she's definitely more willing for me to lift the left leg than she is the right leg. Like she really is reluctant to me lifting up that right leg and that's because she has to shift her weight onto the bad leg, the left okay. leg. So just doing that exam, you can tell there's something going on. Why is she not wanting to weight bear entirely on that left leg? So, okay. so what I really want to do is give her a little bit of sedation and anesthetic and that allows all her muscles to relax and I can really move that joint and see if there's anything wrong with the ligaments, particularly in the knee. Okay. And the other thing we might as well do while she's on the anaesthetic is do a full leg x-ray okay. and just make sure there's nothing like a fracture there. Alrighty, you say bye to Sally. Be a good girl. Say bye Sally. Alright, we'll speak to you shortly. Thank you. Come on, this way. Good girl. Well, I checked River over and generally she's in good health but she's definitely guarding that left back leg. So I'm worried something is going on with that knee or that hip. So we really need to do more diagnostics to get to the bottom of it. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. No, I didn't. Oh, hey. you've got a cannula in and everything. Oh. You're a good girl. She's amazing. So what's her history? She's... Uh, Eight-year-old, surrendered. Alison is calling on Dr. Jeff, an experienced orthopaedic surgeon, to get to the bottom of why River is limping. Now she's got some lovely foster carers lined up. Oh, she's a beautiful nature. She's so good. I'm very glad we're fixing you, River. Oh, X-rays should indicate if there's any serious damage to the eight-year-old's hip or knee joints. Yep. Perfect. So what do we have here? So the core problem with this knee is that instead of the shin bone having a, a flat top, it's got a slope top so when she's running every step is loading that cruciate ligament and over seven years it's just pickled itself and then snapped so now when she's walking it feels like she's stepping on a slippery banana it just slides all the time dr jeff and i have a look at the x-rays and we can clearly see that the angle of that knee is not right which explains why that cruciate ligament was very weak and was going to snap at some point Unfortunately, the surgery that River requires is quite costly. River doesn't have an owner, River doesn't have a home, so there's no one that we can really ask for these funds. It really relies on the rescue organisation. Alison must break the bad news to Sally, whose charity relies on donations, that River needs an expensive operation to have any chance of being adopted. Hey Sally, thanks for waiting. 
She's been very good. Okay. So unfortunately it's not great news. She has completely torn her cruciate ligament and that's a ligament in the knee. So unfortunately it does mean major orthopedic surgery. Right. It's a long road recovery. It's a little bit more expensive than we had hoped. But Sally has news of her own regarding a generous pet food company that means River could still find a loving home. I didn't know how bad the news would be, so while I was waiting, I had a chat to save a life, and we've both agreed that we're going to help River. Happy Tales and Save a Life have agreed to cover the costs of River's surgery and rehabilitation. Whatever she needs, she's worth it. Yeah. Amazing news. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I think she deserves it. It was amazing. Save a Life donate 50% of their profits to rescue groups like ours all over Australia. And who knows? My hope for River is that we can sort out any issues with her leg um, and she can find a forever home. Because River is already under anaesthetic, the decision is made to go ahead with the reconstruction of her damaged left knee immediately. So River doesn't have this operation. She's going to be in pain for the rest of her life. She's going to get secondary osteoarthritis in that leg, which again means more pain. And one of the worst things that could happen is because she's overweight bearing on the good leg, she could potentially snap that cruciate in the good leg as well. She's done this so long ago that all of the meniscus fibres of the ligament have been dissolved. Mm. So simply put, all we're doing is doing a circular cut, rotating the top of the shin bone so that it's relatively flat. After preparing the knee bones, Jeff attaches a plate to hold the reconstructed joint together. So we're just going to slide it under. Yeah, the... If the repair is successful, River should once again walk normally. So that's going to fit in beautifully. But that'll make a radical difference to how that knee works. Two more screws, Alice, and then it's party time. The surgery is quite intense. There's a lot of drilling, there's a lot of sawing, there's a lot of blood and bone, but Dr. Jeff is amazing at what he does, and that knee has come together really nicely. There you go, baby. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. As River recovers, Sally has organised for the eight-year-old's new foster carer, David, to meet the beautiful rescue dog. Hi, David. Hi. Come and meet your little River. She's just recovered from cruciate surgery. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. You know who that is? Oh, you're gorgeous, aren't you? Look at you. She's really leaning in. I think she knows you are her new dad. She's got a long road of recovery ahead, but I think she's in great hands. I'm sure she will fit in at our place. Yeah, really? she's got such a calm temperament, isn't she? <laughs> Hey, do you like your new dad? She's beautiful. She deserves the best life and she's one very lucky girl. As soon as David meets River, you can see there is a connection. It's almost like they know that they're supposed to be together, so I can already tell they're going to be the perfect fit. All right, David, I'm going to send you home with some meds, but as well as some treats from Save a Life, because oh, of course they funded her surgery today and she loves them. She's had a couple already during her recovery. What do you think? Oh, you want another one? It feels so amazing to be part of this moment, to be from the beginning, when River's diagnosed, to when she has a surgery, to when she finally reaches her foster family. It's such a heartwarming feeling to know that all these patients that we treat will get amazing homes and live their best life. Are you going to a good home? Beautiful girl.